Today we're going to have an introduction to tracking changes or change tracking, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and whatever you do want to call it, it's found under the review tab. So change tracking or track changes is a feature that you would want to employ if you were sharing your document with other users. Potentially you could even use it if you wanted to edit your own document and keep a history of those revisions. So track changes allows you to keep track of who where and what was edited in your document. So here's a document which I've created and let's say I want to make some changes to it and I also want to keep track of those changes so I would turn on track changes just simply click that button it's blue you can tell that it's on and so now I'm just editing my document and maybe I want to change this into a project overview. Okay notice it's red and I get this weird little thing over here which looks kinda like a comment but it's not and so it says deleted description and in red text is what was changed so notice it's saying who changed it and what it was changed to so whenever you're doing this change tracking like uh, let's say I want to make this 80% just to show you something else or how about uh, yeah sure 80 sounds good so similar kind of thing. These look like comments. Let me show you comments because comments aren't related to change tracking, but they, they're kind of similar. Um, let's say I have something to say about this title, right? I don't want to change it, but I want to leave a comment saying like, is this a good title? I, I, right, I don't know. This is the kind of thing where it's like keeping notes in your document. So notice that that is a comment and that kind of looks a lot like change tracking, but it's not. Comments can be deleted if you want to. Change tracking is, is more, it's a different thing, right? It's keeping track of those uh, revisions in your document. So if there's an assumption that at some point you're going to go through and you're going to go to the, find my next change and you're going to accept it. Or, right? I mean, so I have to kind of, I have to accept the deletion of text and the new text. We'll say I reject this one. All right, and then I'm done. Right, so notice when I either accept or reject, and a very common button is accept all or reject all. If you're asked to do this, oftentimes that's what you want to do. So at some point you just accept or reject those changes and then the document is finalized. But it's kind of a nice way to keep track of things. It's a weird exercise to do by myself. So let me do that again. Let me turn it back to 70, which is weird. Now what this is really great for is if you're sharing your document with other people. So let me show you how to change a user in Word. I don't know why you would really do this, but I'll show you how to do it. It's under the File tab. It's under Options. And here's Ken Sword Up. So let's say that uh, I want my name to be Carl Weathers. Uh, I'm going to change my initials. One thing I want to point out, and I think it's this is the default. See this checkbox right here? Um, by default, I think this is unchecked, in which case it's impossible to change the user. So you make sure that is checked if this is actually what you want to do, which it probably isn't. All right, so I click OK. Now I'm able to do things like, say I want to change that from improve to better, and notice that now there's a different user. And so now I'm keeping track of not only what are the changes, but who made those changes. And if we wanted to get deeper into this, you can accept changes by a certain user, uh, you know, look at changes by a certain user, time, all that kind of stuff. And notice these weird little uh, marks over here. That indicates that there is a change in that paragraph, just so we're almost done with our introduction. Let me show you some other things. Uh, the review or show markup, by default, it's balloons over on the side. There's other options for how you might want this to be displayed, like here's inline revisions. Notice that's more concise, but it's not as apparent where they happened. And so you've got some different ways of displaying those. You've also got this reviewing pane. So there's horizontal and vertical. Let me look at uh, vertical first. And so this is just a different way of displaying all the revisions. Probably nice if you're really into change tracking and you really want to see how everything went, then that would probably be a, a nice tool. Those are just ways to view it. While we're on the subject of view, notice this all markup displayed by default you can go no markup and then you are looking at the document and you're not displaying the edits. Additionally, you've got original. Original is kind of like turning it back to how it was before you started tracking changes. All that's kind of weird though. I usually just leave it on all markup. 
because it shouldn't be very far away that you're going to go in here and just reject all or accept all. That's usually something that happens pretty quickly. And so there's some other interesting things you can do related to this subject, like like uh, restricting changes, unlocking the document, put a password on it, protecting certain parts of the document. But now you have an understanding of what is track changes and what is it for. Thanks for watching.